Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Starting with the highest name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Welcome to the video lectures. This is your English teacher Sahrish Nawaz, class 5, subject English, final term. This is lecture number 11, Divisional Public School and Intermediate College, Lahore. Let's have a look at the contents of this lecture. First, we will have introduction, then explanation, then we will attempt a comprehension passage and we will also answer the questions of the same comprehension passage. At the end, there will be a home task. Let's start with the introduction of this topic. First, we will discuss what comprehension is. Dear students, take your stationary items like notebooks, pen and pencils with you. Be attentive and listen to me carefully. The word comprehension means the ability to understand what you read or listen. Comprehension aapki us ability ko kehte hain jis mein aapne jo text padha ya jo aapne suna usko understand karne ki ability is called comprehension. Comprehension is to test the ability to understand a language. Aap kisi language ko samajhne ki ability ko bhi comprehension kehte hain. Comprehension means to understand the meaning of the given text. Jo text aapko diya jata hai padhne ke liye ya sunne ke liye uska meaning samajhne ki ability bhi comprehension kehlati hai now comes explanation comprehension means a complete understanding of the passage the main object of comprehension is to test the ability to grasp the meaning of the given passage and to answer the questions in one's own words. Now, comprehension ka main object hai, jo hai, wo aapki ability ko test karna hai ki aap meanings ko kitna understand karte hai. Jo passage aapko diya jata hai, aap usko kitna understand kar sakte hai. Aur, jo end mein questions diya hote hai, three or four questions hote hai, unko apne words mein answer karne ka naam comprehension hai. Okay, students. Before attempting any comprehension, you should keep the following points in your mind. Number one, read the passage quickly to have some general idea. First, you have to read the passage ko jaldi se reading karni hai, ta uska jo general idea hai, wo aapke mind mein aaja ke what is the passage about. Next, read the passage again and underline the important points. Next, you have to read the passage again and underline the reading karni hai. और जितनी भी उसकी important points से हैं, key points से हैं, उनको आपने pen या pencil से you have to underline it. Then, read the questions and try to know what has been asked. Then you have to read the questions which are given at the end, जो आपको 3 या 4 questions दिये हुए हैं, उनको आप read करें and try to know कि उसमें पूछा क्या गया है. Then, underline the portions where the probable answers are provided. फिर आप उन portions को, उन lines को underline करें जहां आपको लगता है कि ये answer हो सकता है. Then, try to use your own words to answer. अब, as it is copy करने से much better होगा that you should answer in your own words. Then, always use complete sentence. This is a very important point. You should use complete sentences instead of giving one word or two word answer you should write a complete sentence and the last point to be kept in mind is answer the question according to the tense this is again very important point that you have to keep in your mind that look at the question what is the tense of the question if the question is in past tense you should answer in past tense and if the question is asked in present tense, you should follow the same tense. Dear students, 
Here is a sample passage for you. You have to read it carefully, underline all the main points, and then answer the questions given at the end in your own words. Students, you have to remember one thing, that the comprehension passage in your exams are always unseen. The one we are discussing here is just for your guidance and help. Let's come to the passage. There is a story of a man who thought he had a right to do what he liked. One day, this gentleman was walking along a busy road, spinning his walking stick round and round, and was trying to look important. A man walking behind him objected. You ought not to spin your stick like that, he said. I am free to do what I like with my stick, I give the gentleman. Of course you are, said the other man. But you should know that your freedom ends where my nose begins. The story tells us that we can enjoy our freedom only if it does not interfere with other people's freedom. Dear students, read the passage again. You need not to write the passage in your notebook. Just note down the questions and answers. Question number one. Why was the gentleman on the road moving his stick round and round? Think of the probable answer and the answer is he was moving his stick round and round because he wanted to look important. Question number two, who objected him? And the answer is a man walking behind him objected him. One thing more students, you have to note that the questions are in past tense. Question number one is in past tense, so we have to write the answer in past tense. Again, question number two is also in past tense, so answer should be in past tense. Here is question number three. What argument did the gentleman give? Again, question is in past tense. So, our answer should be in past tense. The gentleman argued that he was free to do what he liked with his walking stick. Okay students, this is your home task. This is a paragraph that you have to read yourself. And at the end, three questions are given. You have to write the questions in your notebook and write the answers of these questions. Don't write the paragraph, just read it, have a general idea of it, try to keep in your mind the main points and then answer the questions. Read the given passage carefully and answer the questions. Write the answers in your notebook. I hope students you have understood it well. If you have any query you may ask me. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.